Hi there, and welcome back to the studio. So today we're gonna make a bit of a combination project. We're gonna mix resin and wood. Most everyone's heard about a river table, so we're gonna take some of that concept and put it into a coaster. I've taken the liberty to pre-cut just a piece of wood that I've got. I thought it looked interesting with a little bit of a knot there. And we've got my quarter geode mold. And first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to coat it and then we're going to uh, let that cure and then we're going to start doing the pour. So with that, let's bring you down and get uh, mixing. So we're not mixing up much resin this time. We're just doing a little bit, uh, just enough to coat this because it's wood, it's got pores, it will release bubbles. And for anyone that's seen my videos before, you know that uh, bubbles has been an issue. You can do this with a paintbrush. I'm just gonna use my finger for it. I'm just going to want to make sure that we cover all the wood with it and it'll make a nice good seal on it. Okay, and the side that we're going to want up, we want to put to the bottom. And just look at that. We're going to go that way. So we're going to let that cure up and then we'll be back for more pouring. Okay, so we're back. This has had time to set up. So, and I've pre-mixed my resin so you don't have to watch me sit there stirring. So we're just going to mix up a couple colors here. Decant this into a couple smaller containers. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a little bit of clear. I'm just gonna give enough to coat it. I'll just move that around. Let's get a stir stick. So what we're doing here is by putting that clear layer on, we're just breaking the surface tension so that the resin can flow easier over the mold here. Okay, so we got some light blue, and we're just using some alcohol inks to color these. And we got some regular blue. We got some sapphire blue. So 
I'm going to give it a light swirl. I'm actually going to go from light to dark when we swirl. And we're going to use the same stick. I'm not too concerned about the blue, lighter blue going into the darker blue. Okay, I knocked the camera and apparently didn't notice. I'm hoping we didn't miss too much here, um, but in case we did, so I just went over uh, back for layering the light, then the medium, then the dark, um, just little bits at a time to try push it back and forth. Uh, now we've got all our resin here full, so we're gonna give it a quick blow with the uh, heat gun. Okay, we're going to let this, actually we're going to pour just a little bit of clear over this, just to try fill it up a little. Looks like we got a couple low spots, so we're just gonna dab them up. Try to push some of that color off of there. I don't want the wood too blue. Or even we can actually just sort of go back and forth there. Let's Mix that up a little. Okay, I'll let that set and see what uh, comes of it. Okay, so we're back for the demolding. It's been a couple hours and this is set pretty well. So we'll just roll that edge. Just to break the seal on the silicone here. Okay, and let's see what we got. Okay, I do like that. I just want to grab something for a clear background. Okay, I do like that. I see one little hole. So it looks like we got a bit of a bubble there. Um, what, we're, what I'm going to do with that is I will just, because that's actually all the way to the surface, I can go and put a dab of resin in there and it should come out looking good. But overall, happy with that. As I said, we'll fill that hole with a little dab of resin. Not a big deal. And it's nice and see-through. So for a quick project, that's definitely uh, a win. And if you enjoyed the content, please consider liking and subscribing. Feel free to leave a comment in the below and uh, we'll see you in the next video.